Sorry, say you can't come through. Why? You're Agent 47. No, I am Tobias Reaper. No, you're not. You're Agent 47, the most notorious hitman in the world. I'm sorry, you must have the wrong person. I am simply here to have a meeting with Robert Knox. Meeting? Is that what you call it? Come on, man, I know who you are. You have multiple games about you. You even have a movie about you. Granted, it was absolutely trash, like utter trash. I mean, I will never in my life watch that movie again. I would much rather eat mouldy bread than puke it back up, than eat the puke, than puke the puke back up, then let the puke go mouldy, then eat the puke again, then puke the- I get the point. He didn't like the movie. I thought it was alright, to be honest. Yeah, but you also think Lil Pump makes good music, so your opinion is about as useful as a book with no words in it. Can I just get through? I'm on a very tight schedule to kill, I mean, to meet Robert Knox. Sorry, sir. I can't let you in. Please, move along. Good day, lads. Just need to go to the robotics lab to do a bit of recalibrating. You think we're stupid, don't you? How so? You are literally the same person as before. Same person as who? I am here to do some recalibrating on the robot. You have the exact same face. All you've done is just rob someone's clothes, just throw on some glasses, and now you think you're unrecognisable? Should try growing a beard or maybe buy a wig or something. Like, uh, what kind of disguise is that? You've literally just changed clothes. I can't afford a wig and plus I haven't started puberty, hence why I have no hair upstairs. You've made millions of assassinations, how can you not afford one? Taxes? Yeah, sure, highly doubt the government's gonna look at your income statement, see that you've been paid millions to kill someone and going to be like, you know what, I think we should tax them instead of arresting them. Highly doubt it might. Listen, it's a complicated situation. Are you going to let me in or not? No chance. Now get out of here. And please, don't come back in another disguise. If you want to call it that. <laughs> oh, and before you go, please could you sign my tie, Agent 47? I'll sign your headstone. How about that? <laughs> Bruh. Alright, I just knocked a civilian unconscious. He might remember who I am though, when he wakes up seeing as he saw me throw it at him. I don't think he will. You threw a 30 pound firework thing which hurt his head at 30 miles per hour. He'll be lucky to even remember his name. In fact, he'll be lucky to remember what planet he's on. I didn't throw it that hard. I think you did. I'll be surprised if he's not dead. You threw it at him like he called your mother a fat slag or something. You're overreacting. I do it all the time. It's my it's my signature move. It seems a little unnecessary. Why don't you just- Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I thought I heard him start to wake back up. Well, if he weren't dead before, he definitely will be now. You'd be surprised. Most people I throw five weeks soon as that usually make a full recovery. Minus the brain trauma that causes them to lose the ability to speak, as well as the ability to walk, and the fact that they have to be wheeled around with an oxygen tank for the rest of their lives just to keep their heart going. But, apart from that, they all usually make a full recovery. Some people even hire me to throw fire extinguishers at their friends as a prank. Okay, so my friend is currently at the bar drowning in her sorrow. She's, uh, she's a little upset. She recently lost her mother to hay fever. And I was wondering if you could uh, maybe pull a fun little prank on her to make her feel a little bit better and brighten her mood. Oh, sure thing. That's my job to make people laugh and happy. <laughs> what? LOL! <laughs> Bruh. Ah, Helmet, it's so good to see you. How are you, darling? I'm good, babe, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your voice? It it sounds so different from the last time I heard of you. Uh, um, I, I, ch I changed genders and um, had voice feminizing surgery. So you identify as a woman now then? I've been a bit out of loop with this sort of stuff. No, I identify as a silverback gorilla. Oh... Okay, what happened to your German accent as well? Helmut Kruger? Kruger is German, right? Yeah, you're totally right, though. 
Kruger is German. I just lost the accent living in America. Me and my husband Victor is a handsome fellow. You, you might have met him. We are planning on visiting Germany in the near future. Maybe you could teach me some sayings in Germany or have you forgot the language as well? <laughs> No, of course not. <laughs> well, I can teach you hello. Um, hello in German is bonjour. Is that not French? No, 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 no. That's a big misconception people have. A lot of people think French and German are the same, but it's actually very different. Um, bonjour is actually German. Oh, I see. So how do I say bye in German then? Bye in German is arrivederci, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Italian, is it not? You ask way too many questions, woman. This isn't a game of trivia. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're totally right, though. Kruger is German. I just lost the accent in the... <laughs> yeah, you're totally right, though. <laughs> Cut that out.